If shrimp, linguine, and Philly cream cheese had a party, they would absolutely make my delicious creamy shrimp and linguine with rosa sauce. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this fantastic entree. In addition to our shrimp, linguine, and Philly cream cheese, I'm also going to be shredding two carrots. I'll be using a green pepper and half of a diced onion. I've already started boiling my salted water for the pasta. It's ready, so let's add in our pasta. We'll be using, like I said, three-fourths of a pound of linguine. Just drop it right in. And with some tongs, make sure that it's all immersed in the water. You'll cook this until it's al dente, about seven to nine minutes, depending on your taste. In a large pan, turn it on to medium-high heat, drizzle some olive oil, and we're going to add in our diced onions. It's about half of a cup. Season those with a little bit of salt, and we'll saute those. In the meantime, we'll start on this green pepper. Now imagine this dish. We have some linguine, we have some shrimp, and we're gonna slice this green pepper, and I'll show you how we're gonna do it to make it coordinate amazingly with this dish. We'll take out the middle, just like this, and we'll slice it down the middle, and I want to make thin strips with this. So using a sharp knife, it's sliced down the middle, you just want to make very thin strips. Because imagine twirling your linguine and you can just twirl in some of this nice green pepper. It's going to give really great flavor, it's going to give a little bit of crunch, and it's going to give a lot of excitement to our fantastic dish. Great, we're all finished up with that, and I'm going to add it right in with my onion. Nice thin strips of green pepper. Looks awesome. I'll season this again with a little bit of salt and just a dash of garlic powder. Next, you want to shred two carrots. Those are going to be a great addition to this dish also. Not only does it give it great color, it gives it great flavor and great nutrition because we all know that carrots are really good for you. My carrots are shredded and my onions and green peppers are sauteing great. So I'm going to add this right in. Carrots don't take very long to saute, so that's why I add those in later. And I'm going to season those with a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. My philosophy is season everything in layers because if you just season it one time, your food's going to be bland, and if you season it way too much at the end, it's going to be over seasoned. So what I always do is I season everything in layers. If I add the onions, I put a little bit of salt. If I add the peppers, I put a little bit of salt and pepper. Season it in layers. Carrots, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Not too much, don't overdo it, but you want to season it in layers so everything is perfectly seasoned and tastes absolutely delicious when you're ready to serve it. Now I said we're making a rosa sauce and what that will consist of is some delicious red sauce that I made earlier and some Philly cream cheese. Now take a look at my red tomato sauce. What I did is I put together two cans of tomato puree and two cans of diced tomatoes which I finally diced as well. I added in half of a green pepper, one shredded carrot, one diced onion, 12 cloves of garlic, lots of paprika, some salt, pepper, a dash of sugar, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Now that is going to be my spicy red sauce that I'll be mixing together with that Philadelphia cream cheese to make this delicious pink rosa sauce that's going to bring this dish over the top. My pasta is ready. It's nice and al dente, not overcooked. Drain it. I'm adding in a pound of cooked shrimp. They had a special, so I thought, why not get the cooked? The good thing about that is that it's already cooked, so we don't need to waste time. It's only going to be in there for a couple minutes. Add a tad bit more olive oil. Add a little pinch of salt to the shrimp. Remember, season in layers. Add a little bit of pepper to the shrimp. Add a little bit of garlic powder. And we're going to add a pinch of crushed red pepper. Wow, that looks awesome. Give this a quick toss. 
Now I'm going to go grab my pasta and add this in. You can add in your pasta just in handfuls like this. And we're going to add in some more olive oil so that this doesn't start sticking. You can be generous with the olive oil. Don't be afraid. And just gently toss everything together. Wow, that looks so amazing. You've got the pink shrimp, you've got the green, the orange, and just wait until we add this luscious sauce. I'm using a quarter of a cup of Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, the Philadelphia cream cheese is our star ingredient because that is going to be the base of our sauce. So I have a quarter cup in this pan right now. It's on medium heat. And yes, I made all this red sauce, but the red sauce is just helping to accentuate. So I'm adding in about three large scoops of the red sauce. So we're mixing in this delicious Philadelphia cream cheese, and this is going to eventually make a really nice pink sauce, the perfect Rosa sauce. Keep this on medium-low heat and just continually mix this in. Look at that. See how nice and creamy that's getting? All right, our sauce is ready. Look at how awesome that looks. It's ready for our pasta, so we're going to drizzle it right over top. Wow. That is simply delicioso. Just fold it in, and look at how nice and beautiful that is. It's got a very light pink color. You can tell that it's nice and creamy, and we've definitely accentuated our Philadelphia cream cheese because that cream cheese is the star of this dish. It wouldn't have the creaminess, it wouldn't have the color, it wouldn't have the punch that you get with Philly cream cheese if it didn't have it. All right, ladies, I'm going to give you a lesson in eating pasta Italian style. I've got a big spoon and a fork. Now what you want to do, this is the key, it's essential to really getting the essence of every flavor in your dish. What you want to do, take a bite of the pepper, grab a piece of shrimp, and now, lightly, you want to take a few strands of that pasta and just hook it onto your fork, just like this. Then you want to start to twirl ever so gently, and you will get the perfect bite of pasta. Look at that. I'm going to get that bite of shrimp, pepper, pasta, sauce. Those flavors are intense. The Philadelphia cream cheese blended with my spicy red sauce is just superb. Mix it together with that fresh shrimp, the green pepper, the carrot and the linguine, and this will be your new favorite entree. Please try it and let me know what you think. Until then, good eats, and I'll see you next time.